The circular saw can seem intimidating if you're not familiar with it, but with just a little bit of information and some practice, you'll find a million different uses for it around your home. With this one saw, you can tackle a ton of DIY projects, from framing a wall to cutting some lumber for a raised garden bed. First things first, safety. You always want to make sure you have eye and ear protection when working with a circular saw. Respiratory protection is also a good idea anytime you're working around sawdust. And be sure to secure any loose clothing and tie up long hair. Next, check your blade. The more teeth your blade has, the smoother the cut. Also, adjust your blade so that it extends only about a quarter inch past the bottom of the material. You don't want a lot of blades sticking out at the bottom because they can cause binding and make your saw kick. Double check your blade guard, make sure it's on there and working properly. Now we're ready to cut. I'm going to show you a simple cross cut on this two x four so that you can see the basics. Clamp the board to the work surface so you can use both hands on the saw. I will mark my board to the right length here using this speed square to draw a straight line. Then I will put the shoe, that's the base plate here, on the board. Position the body of the saw over the part that will be left behind, not the part that we're cutting off. Double check underneath your blade that it won't hit the table as it moves through. Press the trigger and get the saw spinning before you push it into the material to keep it from binding. Push the saw through the cut and let the pieces fall. If you're cutting a large board, you can use a 1x2 and clamp it to the plywood. This will act as a guide for the edge of your saw for a nice straight cut. If you need to switch blades, always remember to unplug the saw or remove the battery first. Then you will use the included tool to remove the blade. Just press down on your saw's blade lock to hold the blade in place while you turn the tool and the blade comes off. Once you've made a few cuts with a circular saw, you'll really be able to see how useful this tool can be. So be safe, measure carefully, and start cutting. Leave a comment below on any topics you'd like us to cover next. Then head to Lowe's.com to learn more and like and subscribe for more great DIY information.